Well hello and welcome to another tutorial video from the Computer Techie and today we are going to be installing Cacti onto our little um, Raspberry Pi box um, in the previous video we installed the web server and PHP MyAdmin for serving web pages so now we're going to install Cacti monitoring so we can monitor um, computer resources, network usage, CPU, things like that and graph it all and this could be accessed through a web page so quite a nice free um, tool and you can get lots of different extensions for it um, like a syslog uh, viewer I suppose it takes syslog stuff from computers and will display it and then some other things as well so we have our SSH session to the Raspberry Pi. We are going to run the update command. So sudo apt get update. You'll get the updates. And then the next thing we have to do is install Cacti. So when you're running the apt get uh, cacti command, it will only really allow you to install the current cacti version. It's a lot harder to upgrade. Whereas if you do this all manually by installing cacti um, the other way, so the slightly harder way, but the other way, it will allow you to easily update if there is an update that comes out so if you're in a production environment I'd suggest doing it the other way rather than this way because um, you're more reliant on them actually updating the repository links rather than anything else so this is the command to install cacti so it's just sudo apt get install snmpd cacti cacti spine so just run that uh, yes, is the answer. So, this is the configuration. We we'll just acknowledge that. Um, the answer is yes. So the password for the administrative user, which we set up last time, will be installed um, the page uh, the the MySQL database. So put that password in, and then the application password. So I just keep them the same, just so I don't forget. Oh, mismatch. There we go. Uh, so just hit enter to select Apache 2 for the web server it will continue the install So we're almost there hopefully. Maybe I'll pause it so you don't have to sit through it just going through stuff. Okay then so it is now finished installing the cacti and the SNMPD. Um, if you remember we had that in the command as well. 
So now all we need to do is edit the SNMPD configuration file. So sudo nano etc. SNMPD SNMPD.conf. Again, I'll leave all these commands uh, in the description. So all we have to do now is change the agent behavior. So we're going to take out the listen, listen for connections local system only and listen for connections on all interfaces we're going to allow that and you can set up version 3 authentication you can also do access control there and change the system information if you really wanted to um, So yeah, somewhere in here actually should be the password. Oh, there it is. Community. Community public default. System only. I think it is okay so I'm hoping that if we comment out or uncomment uh, this one the secret password what I'm going to do instead of deleting that and forgetting it I'm going to move it down here, comment that one out, and then put in my secret password here, which in this case is just going to be password. Save that. So Control X to save. And then we can go ahead and. Oh no, just a thought. Go back in that. That that I just changed apparently should be the system IP address. So in this case, oh, I don't have my uh, num lock on. Oh, of course, when you press num lock. Oh, well, that's good, isn't it? And then you can always edit the system information. So the location here. This is where the system location info was that I was talking about. System location, so you could put it. So in this case, the Raspberry Pi is in the rack, and the contact could as always be uh, me at lab. Oh, dot. I know something. So now, hopefully, that will work. And then we need to restart the SNMPD service. So, sudo service SNMPD restart. So, it'll restart that. And then we can go ahead and start working on Cacti. So, open up your web browser for or point your web browser to your server slash cacti and it will bring you up to your cacti install so you want to go to next uh, it's a new install uh, RG for tool yeah SNMP yeah cool found all the files, so finish 
and then the login which will be admin and the password we set up that was the password was it login it was root to be honest with you I don't remember Oh, of course, it's admin admin. Because I haven't changed it, that's why. And then the new password one, two, three, four, five, six. And we just save that. Go away. So now, this is Cacti. We now fully have Cacti installed. And if we go to graphs you can see these are the local host graphs which it will start to write to in a minute and um, it will take some time to do that but in a later video we'll go through setting up cacti um, installing the different extensions you can get for it and really filling this out to a good monitoring system so that is it for this install video for cacti and um, if this helped you out or you enjoyed it in any way then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and then if you thought it's crap then go ahead and give it a thumbs down and tell me why if you've got any questions leave them below and i'll see you guys in the next video